the city's had its bounty up for months. No one has found a cure. That's because no one has known where to look. Irizumi, we'll be back by dusk. Finding the source is going to be easy. Outside of these walls, there are no guarantees. Dust takes place in a world that's rapidly changing. Each year, new species and new adaptations alter the balance of their ecosystems. Technology and deep tradition exist as symbiotic opposites, dividing people who live in the countryside from those who live in walled cities. Saj, can you uh, go back a little bit? So you embedded to hotel pickup, pick two. My name is Mike Greer and I'm the director of Dust. The journey of making this film has brought our creative team closer together. In many ways, you become like a family. For me, the journey began in 2005. While living in Tokyo, I made several trips into the Japanese countryside, hoping to photograph the essence of the culture I found myself living in. Just a short train ride outside the city, I could hike through traditional farmlands, walk ancient trade routes, or visit time-honored temples, all the while talking with people in the surrounding villages. The people I encountered were eager to share the land they loved, and I felt privileged when they invited me into the warmth of their homes. Through their generosity and kindness, I witnessed a universal struggle a loss of a traditional way of life as young people abandoned their hometowns for the promise of the city. My travels influenced many of the themes in Dust, and the places I visited turned out to be some of the film's best locations. In addition to directing Dust, I'm also the chief creative officer at Ember Lab, a VFX and animation studio formed by my brother and I. Part of our motivation in forming the company was the desire to develop enough resources and create the kind of collaborative environment that could bring the fantastical world of dust to life. Ember Labs commercial projects take most of our time and energy. They provided the funding for dust. But more than that, each project we have taken on has pushed us to grow helped us to develop our capacities, and allowed the sphere of possibilities for dust to expand. To date, Ember Lab has provided the financial resources to pay for dust production, the location cost, equipment and stage rentals. But the creative heart of the project, the artists, designers, animators and filmmakers, all of these people have given their time and talent without compensation. Even our actors, Masashi Odate and Michael Lopez, donated their time while taking on the challenging task of bringing the world's two main characters to life. The actors, along with our dedicated crew, traveled with us on unpaid shoots halfway around the world and lugged heavy film equipment to remote locations because they believed in what we were trying to accomplish. After three years of balancing our time between commercial projects and dust, we wrapped production work at Marionette Studios in the fall of 2011. But the challenging task of post-production is just beginning, and we're looking to Kickstarter for support in completing the film. Many of the visual elements integral to telling the story and realizing the world still need to be created. Your contributions will be used to complete the visual effects and enhance each frame with atmosphere, matte paintings, and the unique creatures that inhabit the world of dust. 
We're excited to share this project with the Kickstarter community. Among other great rewards, we'll be offering backers an exclusive behind-the-scenes look into the magic of creating a visual effects-intensive film. We appreciate your support and invite you to become part of our family.